In just a matter of hours, a state agency will consider whether to close two Metro Atlanta charter schools, and parents are hoping to change the state's mind. But they're running out of time. Atlanta News First, Bridget Spencer, live from Cherokee Charter Academy. So, Bridget, parents are pretty upset about this. Yeah, they are upset. And tomorrow, the commission that oversees charter schools here in Georgia will be meeting to vote on whether or not they want to close this school, the Cherokee Charter Academy, as well as another one in Fulton County. All Jessica Foster and her husband wanted for their kids was a chance. And they say the Cherokee Charter Academy gave them just that. Considering it is the only school that has given our uh, special needs second grader a actual chance at grade level academics and inclusion with uh, typical aged peers. It is literally priceless. When they found out the State Charter Schools Commission of Georgia is considering closing it, they were heartbroken. So to say that we're shocked um, by the recommendation is, is kind of an understatement. They know his name and they, they love him. They treat him uh, just like all the other kids and they, uh, they have been the ones that have been fighting for him. That sentiment is the same for parents Summer Dunn, who has children attending here as well. She says no other school in the county is like it. It's smaller classrooms. The environment is different. The parent involvement is different. The children here are thriving. The commission is also considering closing Fulton Leadership Academy in East Point. The state says their reasoning for closure is that both schools did not meet academic eligibility criteria and failed to meet certain financial standards. I know academically we were struggling for a minute. We've brought that up and we are doing a whole new model here. The commission still needs to vote Wednesday for this to be a sealed deal. Jessica Foster says she plans to show up at the meeting to show how much the school means to her family and numerous other parents with children enrolled. We're hoping and praying and, and literally begging. If we could just get a little more time. Now that meeting with the commission, that's going to happen tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Lots of parents will be there to speak out. Now in a statement, Cherokee Carter did send me, quote, they were disheartened to hear that the state charter schools commission staff is recommending non-renewal without a legitimate basis. We're live in Cherokee County. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First. And that clock is ticking for both sides tonight. Bridget, thank you.